It's really all that's that idolatry. Too, right? when, really you take a, when you take a step back and look at all that's really idolatry. I mean, you could have a chain and stuff. I've got silver chain, you know what I mean? But my mindset is in the kingdom. Not a day goes past, not an hour goes past where I don't think about something concerning this truth, man. All right? My mind is not set on my possessions. Okay? That's it. Verse, verse 16, for all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life is not of the Father, but is of the world. Yes, it's all of a fleshly sort. There's nothing spiritual about these things that you want, man. It's just like, it's a lifestyle you want to live. But the scriptures is promising so much more, man. Right, and if, if you all could only have faith to believe that the Most High could grant you these things, man. All these things that you see that the world has to offer you, that Esau is really offering you, the devil, yeah. that's deceiving you. He's deceiving you of all these things, the pride of life. It's Esau that's using his witchcraft to promote all these things. It's the devil that's really doing it. Through envy of the Most High. Okay? Esau's trying to take you away from the grace and salvation that's in your house, Shai, man. Through promoting all these things, the lust of the eyes, the pride of life. All that's a distraction, man, from salvation. That's what Satan, Esau, is doing. Okay? And the world passeth away in the lust thereof, but he that doeth the will of the Most High abideth forever. Right, so he that doeth the will of the Most High, so he that's been enlightened, man, by the Most High's word, he's the one that's going to abide, man, forever. Meaning, he's the one that's going to get saved, enter into the kingdom, acquire eternal life, incorruptible bodies, he's not going to see death. He that doeth the will of the Most High, but he that don't is going to partake in the second death, man. He's going to have to come back on the other side. It's uh, uh, Proverbs, Proverbs 11 and 4. So it says, Riches profit not in the day of wrath, but righteousness deliver from death. Righteousness deliver from death, man. Okay. What's that scripture? It's, um, it's, um, give me um, Jeremiah 9 and 24. It's uh, Mark, 8, uh, Mark 8 and 36 which says, For what shall it profit a man if he shall gain the whole world and lose his own soul? 9 and 20, 9 and 20. Read that again. Yeah. It's uh, Mark 8 and 36 which says, For what <laughs> shall it profit a man <laughs> if he shall gain the whole world and lose his own soul? A man give up his own life. To gain the whole that again, sir. Mark 8 and 36. For what shall it profit a man if he shall gain the whole world and lose his own soul? I know, but, but some people think that that's 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 a that's a good balance, man. I mean, because they're not enlightened to the kingdom. So in their mind, this is the be all and end all. But they're thinking, oh, to get all this pleasure, you can't get all this pleasure for nothing. So I might as well. No, I only know bend over. Exactly. That's their, that's their, that's their so mind. Their, the their, that's their mind is, is thinking like that. You know, in, in exchange for this, that, and a, and a higher lifestyle, and the woman I want, let me just do this little shameful act, and that'll be the end of it. You know what I'm saying? But, but it's, an, it's an integrity thing, man. Even if I didn't have the kingdom, I wouldn't do that, bro. It's an integrity <laughs> thing. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> A principle thing. Some some people have principles, man. Some people don't, man. That's right. You know, some people have some type of moral compass, man. Some people just they just don't, man. You know, some people just wasn't raised that way, man. But the spirit, there's a, there's a spirit in a, in a man, man, that will allow him to engage in certain acts that's, that's unseen, man. Right. But then there's another spirit where that's an abomination to him. You're gonna let that happen to, to you. Anything. Don't take away your the respect you have for yourself. That's that, right. That will, right. Not, you can't live your life with no standards, man. As a man. You know what I'm saying? 
got a precept. This is Luke 21 and 33. Heaven and earth shall pass away, but my word shall not pass away. Verse 34, and take heed to yourselves at any time. And that's the truth. Stop there. He said, heaven and earth shall pass away, but my words shall not pass away. That's how you know, man, to put your trust in the word of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh, <laughs> man. Because this earth that everyone trusts in will pass away. But the only thing that, that's going to be meaningful and mean anything at the end of the day is these words, man. That's written in these, in these papers, man. And even not even so much the letter, man, because the letter is really flesh. The meaning, the meaning man, because you could throw away the book, but you could, it's the faith that these words have imparted to you, man. The, the most I gave you faith. The book itself won't deliver you, man. But it's, 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 it's the faith, man, the meaning. The, the gospel that you received from these words, man. That's what's going to be everlasting. Everything you see here is going to pass away. All of this is going to be dissolved, man. It's just that the elements shall melt with fervent heat, man. So all these things is going to be destroyed, man. You know? And the fashions thereof. But he that abide in the rule of the Lord shall abide forever, man. Yeah. Ephesians 2 and 8 on faith. For by grace are ye saved through faith, and that not of yourselves, it is the gift of the Most High. Right, so it's not even of yourselves. So when we're in the kingdom, we're not going to be patting ourselves on the back saying, by our own righteousness, we did it. Like I kept the laws, man. That's the you know I'm more righteous than this guy. You know what I'm saying? I kept the laws perfectly. Which brother here can say that they did that? And we're not going to be giving praise unto ourselves. We got saved through the grace, through the favor of the, mo the Most High favored you. That's why you were delivered, because the Most High delighted in you, man. Nothing that you did, not of your own works, man, but of the grace that's in Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. All right? Um, so give me on Jeremiah 9 and 20. Uh, I think I've got... You got some more? I had a quick one on it. Go on, go on, go on, read it. Read it. Uh, Romans 15, verse 13. Now, the Father of hope fill you with all joy and peace in believing that ye may abound in hope through the power of the Holy Spirit. Read that again. Romans 15 verse 13. Now the Father of hope fill you, may the Father of hope fill you with all joy and peace in believing mm. that ye may abound in hope mm. through the power of the Holy Spirit. Hope and peace, man, in, in what believing? Read that again. Romans 15 verse 13. Now the power of hope fill you with all joy and peace joy and peace so you get joy and peace through this man in believing in believing go ahead that ye may abound in hope abound in hope through the power of the holy spirit through the power of the holy spirit man okay so the spirit of the most high that's in us has given us joy man and peace man through having faith through believing in things that don't appear man through believing in things that most people, if not all people, that are not of this calling would consider madness. Insanity, man. Your family is ashamed of you, man, because of the things that you believe in. But you know them to be true. Okay? You believe and this and this and this truth consists of all the things that a man desires, man. Honor, uh, glory, right. integrity principles all these things make up a man respect order respect order all these things is 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 alpha masculine that's alpha that's that's all the things that a man needs that make up his character that makes up a man not materialism all these external things man that are, that women require a man to have like oh. car and money and all these things that even a sodomite could acquire that's right well, Sodomite can't pertain to all these things, that all these internal values. Otherwise, he wouldn't be what he, what he does. You know what I mean? If he had principles yeah. and integrity, he ain't gonna be engaged in all them type of abominations. So truly, it is a true man is a man of Yahweh and his son Yahweh Shai. Right. That's a true man. Right. And there's only a handful of men that, atta that have attained that standard, man. 
scripture say, uh, no default thing shall fall into wisdom. Mm. You know, so no default thing can attend this thing that we have. Man. Mm. So, so exactly. So that shows you that the scriptures say, um, um, they're without God, man. All right. There's no God. There's no God in them. All right. So there's something to 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 be a, a real man, man. You have to be. You gotta have a pure spirit, man. Your spirit has to be different. Okay. Um, give, give me your uh, Jeremiah 9 and 20 because I want to go to you. Jeremiah 9 and 20 and it says, Yet hear the word of the Lord, all ye women, and let your ear receive the word of his mouth. Right. And teach your daughters wailing and everyone her neighbor lamentation. Right. For death is come up into our, into our windows and he entered into our palaces to cut off the children from without and the young men from the streets. Right, so it said, death has come up through our windows and entered into our palaces to cut off the children from the streets and young men from our cities, right? So, you all know about this coronavirus thing that they said is, is basically, um, it's airborne, man. Yeah. So it's they're, they're basically saying that it's, that even the masks that you use is, is pointless really having it because it can enter into your eyes okay you know what I'm saying or enter in some other way so it said death has entered in to our windows man to cut off the young men from the streets some some brothers used to tell me that um that it doesn't really affect children well there's certain cases of, of even children contracting the virus man you know what I'm saying children, young children, man, babies. That's why they're closing down schools and whatnot, man. Go ahead. Uh, verse 22. And, and they say, what, how, how many deaths? Is the, the deaths are like, what? I think it's like 9,000 something. 9,000? Yeah, it's yeah. six, six, six to 9,000 uh, something about like that. Under 4,000. Or 3,000 something like that, is it? Is yeah, it? It, was, it was just reached uh, 3,000 not long ago, but I can double check. But it will be under 4,000 years so far. Uh, but uh, the, uh, the number of uh, the number of uh, infected people has now gone over 100,000. Yeah, 100,000, right. Affect, yeah. Affected, yeah. That's right. Okay, we're now on 200. The Baba just showed me no longer ago. And uh, uh, two deaths in UK or three deaths? Two. Two deaths. Yeah. Two deaths so far. But the number of cases. Because um, they say there's 200 right now in the UK, just overnight. Yesterday it was like 163. Yeah. So dozens of cases just popped out of nowhere overnight, man. Yeah. UK just doubled, just from nowhere, just doubled. Just, just out of nowhere. Double. So if it's true, then these people that just popped up out of nowhere, they've been they they've been affected for what, about two weeks. It takes about two weeks for you to start showing symptoms. So that means, meanwhile, they were going around up in London spreading it to other people. So there's a lot more cases than 200. It's just that the people that have been affected, they haven't shown any symptoms yet. So there's a lot more than 200. Okay? There's a lot more than 200, man. Okay? And they're trying to say in China that, um, that, that the number of cases has decreased. All right? And that, that is spreading more violently around other countries outside of China. But then there's other people saying that that's, that's bullshit, man. Because yeah. China, they're manipulating the, the, um, the, the numbers, man. They're not, they're not bringing out the full uh, truth. What they're saying is, it's not the, it's not the fact that the number has decreased. It's just at the rate for which they're finding new cases has reduced. So for example, if they're finding a, a thousand new cases a day, they're now finding like 500. So it's just the rate has been slowing down, yeah. slowing down. Yeah. And can I just make a comment? Um, Bill Gates was saying that why isn't this thing affecting the so-called um, African countries? And he made an, an announcement, and it was, it was broken down that it was it was supposed to be affecting Africa as much as it was suspect, suspecting affecting Japan. Today, surprise. They're saying there should be much more cases, uh, and almost as if it was a complaint. 
yeah, because yeah, yeah. because non tuberculosis was a thing that was only uh, affecting so called middle aged Edomite white people and healthy Edomites, you know, and uh, they were saying, why is it only affecting it ain't affecting black people? Yeah, yeah. So this, so what they're saying is that it's supposed to be affecting places over in uh, uh, over there in Africa, but it's not to our surprise. Why ain't they, you not yeah, dying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> So if he's gonna yeah. if he's gonna go and visit there, yeah, yeah, yeah. try to spread something. They're probably gonna cry if that's the us, you know. That's the question. A, a, a revived a revived version of the Ebola. They, they, they might bring out something, you know. All these viruses, they're all popping out, out of nowhere. They're popping out of nowhere. The last the last saw uh, fever in Nigeria. They found another one in fucking um excuse me some of the language in, in South America, but it doesn't affect people. <laughs> Then the, the coronavirus, he bought all these viruses popping out of nowhere. You know what I'm saying? I was like, nah, they, they, they created it, man. You know what I'm saying? He saw, he's the sword of the Lord, man. And the sword comes in different forms. The sword is an instrument of death. You know what I'm saying? Weapons of mass destruction. That's what these viruses are. They're weapons of mass destruction, man. Wiping out towns, wiping out people. Look how much damage is, is caused to China, man, right now. So much so that people can't even go work, man. And we all know that China has its assets invested in a lot of countries, man. Mainly westernized countries. America, Britain. A lot of, that's what it says, if a lot of items, a lot of products is made in China. You know what I'm saying? So a lot of the products from China maintains and, and enhances the economic growth. Yeah. And without these assets, it, it can really make a severe impact on uh, the Western economy, man. And the world economy. Yeah, so like they, um, they had an economic um, review of all the LEDC, less economically developed countries, mm. and they, they spout into MEDCs, <laughs> more economically developed countries. Mm. And China had the fastest growth rate of becoming like uh, a less economically developed country into um, pretty much the leading producers for the yeah, Western yeah, world. Right. You see? Just like that. Just like that, man. Okay? Because of the workers, they, they, they're even trying to deceive the workers, say, oh, it's okay, oh, the, the virus has been controlled, we've contained it, you can go back to work now. Man, them Chinese people don't believe that shit, man. They're staying at home. They're staying at home because they, they know that how bad it is. Okay? So that's affecting, that's affecting everything, man. Yeah, just looked it up. China has a workforce, meaning that everybody that is able to work of 806 million. Wow. That's, that's like the biggest in the whole world, man. The largest, bro. You know what that's I mean? That's, that's nearly three times the size of just the American population by itself. The that's Americans. just their workforce. So yeah, yeah, they, yeah. they got more people there, but this is just the amount of people that's able to work. Exactly, exactly. They're all on slaves, man. <laughs> <laughs> when you say all those people that's not going oh. to work? No, they're, they're, they're able to work, meaning that they have the ability to work. work. Okay. So their economy, um, that's why they're commonly, uh, commonly uh, booms because they've got a, a workforce of 806 million people. So that's, that's, a, that's a lot, man. You know what I mean? So you mean tell me that the majority of all these people don't want to work and that's not going to affect the economy? That's, that's going to affect the economy somehow. That's going to crash the economy. That's going to crash it, bro. You know what I mean? That's like they're, the China's partners with a lot of countries, man, and trade and everything, man. So once they're cut off, that's going to affect other economies around the world, man. Big time. Okay? It's showing show you how, how small, such a thing like a virus can affect everything else, man. You know what I'm saying? It can really affect everything else and it can trigger off other things that will bring in other things. Like the chipping. And it was, you know, it was all planned out, man. It was all planned out. You know? Um, we don't keep on continuing reading with um, Jeremiah 9. Okay, back to Jeremiah 9 and, uh, and 23 and it says, uh, Speak, speak, that saith the Lord, even the carcasses of men shall fall as dung upon the open field, mm. and as a handful, as, and as a handful after the harvest, after the harvest man, and none shall gather them. Yeah, so that's, so death, man, you know, death, 
death is going to be rampant in the times to come, man. Carcasses is going to be laid out in the open field and none shall gather them, man. So that's the times <laughs> we're entering into. Imagine if it got bad like that in England, in London. You started to see the virus got so bad and people started dropping, the, collapsing in the streets, man. Just like in China. Uh, that would be Apocalypto. When those guys got captured, when they're taking them to the village, yeah. they came across a, a particular village that they all got infected. All the yeah. little girl, no, the one that no, prophesied to them, and then there was like all kinds of dead bodies. They were like, yeah. don't, don't go near them, don't go yeah, near them, don't yeah, touch yeah, them. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, they were scared yeah. to touch any of them. Why? Because of the uh, the plague that was on them. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, so people it might be if, if people are dying because of some kind of disease, people will be scared to touch them. Who's gonna touch them? Man? Mm. No, you know, there, there might be no, uh, not enough proper equipment for people to, uh, mm. to have on, mm. you know, so that no one else wants to get infected, so just like, go the other way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Somebody you know drops saying? dead, like, nah, he's got a virus, man, don't touch him. And these are the things you have to think about, man. Think upon a time of poverty and need, man. Why, why are you doing good? Because so many people look at them, you're doing good, man. You know? They're not thinking about a time of poverty and need. A lot of these people, they're not, they're not thinking that this thing is serious, man. They're still under uh, some uh, very passive, uh, 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 you know, <coughs> or that type of vibe. No, no, the, the scripture speaks about um, the grinding of the work being low. This is um, the Wall Street Journal and it says China's exports, they're the biggest exporting country in the whole world, but China's export has gone down by 17.2% just because of the coronavirus. Okay. That means all, all the countries that rely on China for their goods, man, they're not receiving that no more. Right. That's a big percent, man. 17 percent. On a large scale of big companies, that's a 17 percent of a billion is like what, man? You're looking about... Yeah, that's a, that's a lot of money still. Man. So if their economy is shutting down, that means a lot of businesses are going to shut down. That means that they're going to have to lay off a lot of their workers in the Western Hemisphere. Yeah. Okay. Why? Because their economy is not growing. It's not. It's not. You know what I'm saying? That's all right. That's all right. That's all right. He's cool. He's cool. Yeah, he's cool. Man. You alright? I told you guys not to do a He's just coming around here, bro. That's all. Yeah, that's all. 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 That's so yeah, so you know, the fact that China's not producing the assets that the Western Hemisphere needs, that's going to affect the economy of the Western Hemisphere. Meaning a lot of businesses are going to go shut down, a lot of workers are going to be let off, okay? But they're seeing they're going to get let off, how the hell is people going to get money to survive? How are they going to get money to feed their families, to pay their rent? taxes and so forth if they've been fired from a job that's gonna that's what that's gonna cause civil unrest man there's gonna be a lot of civil unrest on the side because of the economy man this whole is like a ripple effect man this one thing leads to the next all because of this, this damn virus man it says it here they're 17.2 percent but in monetary terms they've lost 7.9 billion in trade Whoa. 17 what? Uh, the, it, the percentage is 17.2, but in actual money, they've lost 7.9 billion. 7.9 billion. That's a dust. 7.9 billion. That's a, that's a whole lot. Just like that. You get what I mean? There's going to be civil unrest, man. I can't wait. See, you know I can't wait, man. Can I add to what you just yeah. said about the whole job loss and everything? And not only would that upset the economy, but that's going to make people go crazy because they're going to be wondering, I can't work to feed my family. I can't take care of my kids. I can't take care of myself. So a lot of people that are out of work are going to start to panic. And that's going to result into, you know, the further downfall of the system. Yeah. Newton stores. I've been, I've been going into Sainsbury's and filming, man. Yeah, I'm watching that. I saw that. <laughs> and certain hours are empty, bro. Yeah. So, so toilet, they, they emptied out the toilet paper. They emptied out the, the, um, the hand washing, the, um, the gels. Okay, certain healthy foods are rinsed out, the apples gone. You know what I'm saying? But all the little, the, all the little trivial, 
All the little trivial fuse are still there, but the main important things are gone, man. Okay? And the rest followed. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's what happens during the time of people are going to start looting a lot of these stores, man. Okay? It's going to be civil unrest. And then what's going to happen? They're going to bring in the troops, martial law, the whole bit. That's what we're waiting for, man. And brothers are going to be catching hell. Let's keep it real. We're going to be catching hell as well. You know what I'm saying? But the Lord's going to somehow take care of us. He's going to be leading us in the right directions or whatnot. Who knows what journey each brother has, man, right. during that time. Yeah. You might get caught up, arrested, taken to some, some place, some quarantine. For, you know, they try to force you to take a chip. You tell them to go fuck off. Then they start whipping you, beating you, put you in another quarantine little place or something. Lord knows, man. Or you, you might run, you know what I'm saying? Jump out the window, you run in for your life. You hide in somewhere. Because I, I want that to happen to me. I want to live that life, man. Yeah. I'm hiding, hiding in the bush. That's, that's why I'm. That's See why the troops pass by, I'm just hiding. Camouflage, hey. camouflage. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I want to, I want, I want to live that. Man. I want to see what happens. I don't want to be stuck in some little place. You know what I'm saying? Starving and dehydrating, man. You know what I mean? So, brother's been making videos saying, uh, "Learn to be uncomfortable." You know, learn to be uncomfortable because the times are coming when you're not gonna be comfortable, man. Yeah. You know, you're not gonna know where you're gonna, where you're gonna sleep, where you're gonna have space to lie and rest. You might be in that park there, man. Nobody's around. You go in the corner somewhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You sleep there, man. No night time, yeah. you know, so you, you don't know, man. You don't know. Even rough, man. Smelling and shit. <laughs> Brothers talking about you want several women to cleave onto you. You don't want no several women to cleave onto you. They're going to be smelling like hell. The mustaches are going to be growing. You might see a woman walking towards you, you think that's a man. <laughs> Half the way, but you might be like, you come in peace. Yeah. <laughs> and she takes over a figure, oh shit. <laughs> you know? You see the facial hair and shit. <laughs> Every time they show those apocalyptic movies, they always show the women to be like, they're all, they're nice, the hair is all nice and straight, and you know, they're looking clean and everything yeah, else. That's the, that's the spirit, because, um, Book of Eli. Book of Eli, when the woman wanted to follow him, he was yeah. like, no, you're going to slow me down, man. Yeah, exactly. You know? You don't that want one was you know? a bit more real, real, realistic, because yeah. she was dirty, man. Her teeth were all fucked up yeah. and everything, you know? Yeah, because yeah, they didn't want to make that movie too real. Yeah. That, that movie was too clean, man. Like, he was, he looked all nicey nice throughout the whole... Yeah. Because remember, he was on the road for years. Yeah. If you actually watched the movie, he was on the road for years. But he had the same haircut that he had in the beginning. His head didn't even grow. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. His clothes look nice. You know what I'm saying? I showed him at a part of the movie where he had little hand wipes, cleaning himself, yeah. sharpening his sword and shit. That was a bit real. But there was other parts that weren't really real, man. Like the girl looked too clean, man. The one that followed him next, you know? Because water that time, water was too precious to, to be bathing with. Yeah. That's why uh, he was using hand sanitizers as a bag in the gym. They used that to clean themselves. Water was came with very short supply, you know. You have to give a lot to get just that one cup. You have to trade to yeah. give water. I go lighter, I go lighter, you go as yeah. go sanitizer. You know? yeah. The yeah. things that are important, you know what I'm yeah. saying? And then when they tried to fob him off, in that pub area, then he started fighting the guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because yeah, you don't mess around with trading, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Serious. yeah that's, that's serious, that's serious yeah. business, bro. You know what I mean? So yeah, you know, that's how that's the that's though, and you never know what journey the Mosa has got planned for you, man. How it's gonna end out for you. Cause right now I'm staying with my mom's and my little brother. It could be a time where I have to abandon them, man. Cause they kind of rely upon they only see me as the man of the house. So it's like it'd be a point where I have to abandon them, man. Just leave them, you know. Well, it's uh, Second Ezra's 15 and 11. So it says, but I will bring them with a mighty hand and a stretched out arm and smite Egypt with plagues as before and will destroy all the land thereof. Egypt shall mourn. Egypt shall mourn and the foundation of it shall be smitten with the plague 
and the punishment that the Most High shall bring upon it. They that till the ground shall mourn, for their seeds shall fail through the blasting, and hail with a fearful consolation. Woe to the world and them that dwell therein, for the sword and their destruction draweth nigh. Woe to the world and them that therein, for the sword and the destruction draweth nigh. So the Most High is not pleased with this place, man. You know, how can you partake in something that the Most High is not pleased with? You know the Most High has condemned this place to foul, man. So why would you want to put your heart, mind and soul into something that's eventually going to be destroyed, man? You know? Leave it alone, man. I know at times it might be tempting. You know what I'm saying? But ultimately, you got to see the end game, man. The end game is inside the scriptures. Go ahead. Um, verse, back in verse 15, so it says, And one, peop one people shall stand up to fight against another, and swords in their hands. Okay, I can see that way. I can see that. <laughs> there was one um, clip where some taxi driver, he, he didn't want some Italian to get in the car. <laughs> so the Italian says, but you're racist. I says, yeah, I know. Okay, I was, it's, for my, it's not because it's not I'm racist, it's because it's for my own safety. You know, it's it. So, 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 you know what I'm saying? Like Italian people and like Chinese people are like the new niggas, man. You know? So it's like it's gonna be like, like a racial thing, man. Yeah, yeah. Moab, Moab, Moab might be first, man. Because <laughs> people are blaming Moab for this corona yeah, thing, yeah, man. Yeah. I know, I know. Some guy got be up in the street. Oh, yeah, got be up, man. They got black eyes and he might need surgery okay. or something like that. Really? Yeah, that's how bad it is. Did you see it? From Victoria. Yeah. They showed a picture of a black eye, boss up face, said he might need a, a surgery. To fix his face back up again. Because I know on Monday and Tuesday when I'm working, Monday and Tuesday because they are uh, they they work throughout the weekend. And Monday and Tuesday is like their weekend. Yeah. That's when they all go out in the casinos, in the pubs, and they go out for drinks or whatever. Now the woman that I picked up, she goes, we've we've seen a, 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 a lot number a, a lot less of them now recently because you know a lot of them are not going out as much because people are mistreating them and whatever they are going to like nah bro yeah. <laughs> <laughs> where are you from man yeah. <laughs> they're hostile man hostile yeah. they're the new niggas now man there's you know? a new niggas bro the low despicable you know people stuff now they know what it's like to be black man <laughs> so-called black or, or Israelite they know what it's like now man to, to be um, a laughing stock in the um what's it man you know what I'm saying? All these curses, man. The curses is being put on them. Go ahead, man. Yeah, it's lucky that also goes back into Isaiah, where it says that every man shall turn to his own people. Yeah. That's going to cause them to flee to their own, back to their own land. It says um, back in 2 Ezra 15 and 16, so it says, For there shall be sedition among men, and invading one another. They shall not regard their kings nor princes, and the course of their actions shall stand in their power. Exactly, so you don't want to underestimate the, the human need for survival, man. You don't want to underestimate that. Because when people have to go through, reach the point of, of survival of the fittest, there's no rules, man. There's no rules, there's no stipulations, there's no line to be drawn, there's no code of conduct. All of that, uh, there's no expected behavior or standards, all of that is out the window, man. People are going to resort to... to animal instinct man they're going to resort to instinct behavior to, to act on instinct not on an expected standard of behavior expected from society they're going to do what they have to do in order to make it to the next day even if it means killing their next their, their door neighbor uh, your, uh, your next door neighbor you're, you're an Israelite your next door neighbor could be a friendly neighborhood Edomite man you hear somebody breaking into your house and you find out who it is, man. That was your, is it that, Ed, that same, your next door neighbor, the Edomite, the friendly neighborhood Edomite, breaking into your house, man? I need to eat. You know what I'm saying? Look at that, that look of desperation. Because yeah. they do, Jake do that for, for low level stuff as well. Like on my road um, in London, there's like, it's like, it's, you could call it a family, man. It's like literally Jake, 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 right? Next to me. And one time they were 